a lot of people have been wondering, confused, perplexed, excited over the past week in terms of where WWE was going with Roman Reigns, and in particular where they're going with Cody Rhodes, and the finish the story bullshit for WrestleMania 40, and oh, by the way, here comes Dwayne The Rock Johnson into the mix. And I know especially coming out of last Thursday's press conference, you got a lot of people that are finding their excitement levels elevated at the thought of what could go down at WrestleMania. And I want to be very clear here. Do not consider me one of those. What's happened over the past week plus, what they've done over the past week plus, is actually decreasing my personal interest in WrestleMania, not increasing it. And certainly many of you are going to point to that and say there's one particular factor there. I just don't like Cody Rhodes and that's it. And no, it actually isn't it. Because I've said on more than one occasion over the past week or so, they need to pick a fucking lane. Either go with the dream match that has way more history and story behind it in The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Or go with the shit you've been building to for a year plus with Cody Rhodes so you can get it the fuck over and finish his goddamn story. I really don't care which lane they pick anymore. Just fucking pick one and be done with it. But what I really don't like is how they've made Roman Reigns basically the third damn wheel here. The third wheel. The guy, the dude, the champion for three and a half damn years, basically, is now the third wheel. Like, if you watched any of that press conference interaction last week, Roman looked really small. Roman looked like the younger brother, the younger cousin, and Dwayne's the alpha male. And if anything, with the way that was presented, I don't really personally think it does anybody a whole lick of good from a character standpoint and from a story standpoint because based off of the way the interaction flowed, I'm actually more interested in seeing The Rock take on Cody Rhodes than I am Roman taking on Cody Rhodes or Roman taking on The Fucking Rock, which was supposed to be the whole goddamn point here. And like the one thing that's believable about Cody Rhodes over the past week is that he basically lied. He said to Roman, not at WrestleMania until, oh yeah, I want you at WrestleMania. Like it makes no fucking sense unless you realize that Cody's a liar and you're like, hey, that's perfect. There's the early tease towards the heel turn, whatever the case might be. But now that you've introduced The Rock, And you've made this whole convoluted ass fucking mess that you just didn't have to, but for whatever reason you insisted on doing, it's just gumming up the works. That's all it's doing. Like if you have Roman Reigns main event both nights of WrestleMania, that kind of sucks. If you just trot out Rhodes versus Roman for the second straight year as a main event of night two of WrestleMania, That's just a rehash of last year. That sucks. Now, with all this distraction and shit, if you do The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, that starts to feel like that sucks too. Or if you do some type of triple threat match between the three of them, that to me has no fucking appeal because it's a distraction. It's hard to focus on one story. It's a layered, nuanced, multi-level story that I just don't have any confidence in WWE to be able to tell in this day and age because they can't do it. They've proven time after time they can't do it. They just can't. So fuck the triple threat shit because now whose story are you going to tell? What story are you trying to tell? And then if you do like, hey, it's Cody versus Roman at Mania, but The Rock is a special guest referee, Oh, so we're rehashing 2011 all fucking over again. 
I'm out on all that shit. But how the fuck do you sit there and take the tribal chief, the head of the table, for three and a half years, he's been the dude, and you've had him beat so many people, to now you get to this seminal moment where arguably you want to make him look strong but vulnerable, you're making him weak, look weak and third wheel. How does that help Cody Rhodes' character? How does that support the investment that the WWE has put behind the Roman Reigns character for the past three and a half years. It doesn't. Like the only way, and I want to emphasize this again, the only way this shit works at this point and makes any fucking sense is if Cody Rhodes was so desperate, so desperate to beat Roman Reigns and become the champion at the close of WrestleMania that him and The Rock are in cahoots and it's Cody Rhodes is almost like a WrestleMania 17 moment, right? He'll sell out and do whatever it takes to get that title. And then you're off to the fucking races with a babyface Roman, babyface, and a heel Cody Rhodes that is a recipe, a license in my opinion to print money and certainly is a much better character long term than the babyface on the pursuit Cody Rhodes. This is so much of him is about, about finishing the story. Okay, and then once he finishes the story, then what do you do? Man, you sit there and turn his character heel and you have him sit there and fucking aligned with Rock and this was all a work to begin with. They were in cahoots to fuck over Roman. Now you've set up your match between Rock and Roman at a Crown Jewel or SummerSlam or WrestleMania 41. Now you've given something different for Cody Rhodes. Fans will legitimately be pissed the heel heat will be tremendous because they feel like they were lied to because it's Cody Rhodes. It's what he does well. Man, you fucking talk about an awesome character. And oh, by the way, all of those baby faces that Roman beat over the past several years, now they can take on a heel Cody Rhodes. Like to me, it's so fucking obvious. If you're going to do all of this shit, then that needs to be the outcome. If you're doing all this distractionary shit and you're making Roman the third wheel, just to sit there and make it a lame, Cody wins and it's a hurrah moment and da 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 da. Like, if you're gonna do that, then you should have done that last year. If you're gonna insist on running this back for a second straight WrestleMania, if that's even what you're fucking doing, I saw the teaser trailer today. Are they teasing a fucking tag match with Cody and Rollins taking on Rock and Roman? What the fuck? If you're saying, well, they're not going there. Are you sure at this point? Frankly, does fucking WWE know at this point? How in the hell do you make Roman the third wheel? At the end of the day, he's the champion. Make up your mind, pick your fucking lane, and determine where you want to go. And especially if you talk about you went down that tag match scenario, all of the heat's going to be between Cody and fucking Rock so now you would have made not one, but both of your champions look like third and fourth wheels respectively in Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins, and that doesn't do anybody any fucking good. I respect conviction, stubbornness, like consistency, even if I don't always like it, even if I don't agree with it. I respect that shit. I can't respect the clear pivot that the WWE has made in the past week plus. They pushed out, plain and simple. They pushed out. And any benefit you're going to get from that in terms of a heel Hollywood slash corporate rock, it's not going to be enough as great as that could possibly fucking be. No more panda rock. It's bury your ass fucking rock. Sign me up for that. Yes, indeed. But... Not good. And like I said, to me, it's not even at this point just being about, I just wanted Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Give me the dream match. Give me the match that actually has more story to it. Um, and I'm not clearly, at least looks like getting that at this point or not in the way that I would appreciate or like. 
That's not even it. Like, it doesn't have to just go the way I want in order for it to work. It's the point of they've done all of this shit and they've distracted, they've introduced so many layers of convoluted bullshit and it's just a distraction. And they're playing with fire here. You're going to make Roman look worse. You've already made Seth Rollins look worse. And if you're not careful, you're going to make Cody Rhodes look worse for it as well. Not to mention The Rock. So there might be a lot of people right now that are really excited about this shit. I'm not. Fuck Roman's the third wheel when he's the champion. What the hell is he? CM Punk? Ha! Ah!